start again Just my children and my wrong Thank my lucky stars To be living here today Cause the flag still stands for freedom And they can't take it There ain't no doubt I love this land. God bless you, Canada. From the shore of right. Nova Scotia to the forest in BC. Montreal to Winnipeg, from sea to shining sea. Detroit, we can see her above the USA. Right. Well, no. Cause there's pride in every Canadian heart, and it's time to stand and say,
Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the ceremony. We will begin by playing O Canada. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, comrades all, veterans. What a wonderful day we got here. At least it didn't rain on us so far anyway. On behalf of the Royal Canadian Legion Branch 582, I would like to welcome all of our guests, the Honorable Bodslad Lisan, Honorable Depika Demirla, and Her Worship Hazel McCallion. The participants of the parade and our veterans attending our Remembrance Day services. We stand here today to remember those who sacrificed all so we could be free. Also to the members of our armed forces in harm's way and those who are always ready to take up the call. Thank you very much. Also from the federal MP, the Honorable Vazislav Lizon. Thank you very much. Good morning, Your Worship, Mayor Kalyan, uh, Member of Provincial Parliament, Deputy Governor, uh, Councillor Chris Fonseca, uh, veterans, uh, police officers, uh, fire and emergency services of Mississauga, cadets. And all ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for coming here today. 
for this very special ceremony where we gather each year to uh, uh, give honor and, and uh, give respect to those that went and fought for freedom that we enjoy today. I had a chance to go to Europe in the summer to march in Holland, but we visited several cemeteries, both first world and second world cemeteries. And as we know, this year we celebrate the 100th anniversary of the start of the first world, 75th anniversary of the second world. And we should remember that over 117,000 Canadians that never came home, taking part in different struggles, are buried in the most 72 countries in, uh, in the world. And visiting the cemetery in Essex Farm, where John McRae is uh, 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 commemorated and buried, I came across a grave of Canadian soldier. Uh, he was only 15 when he died in the First War. And you know what? Walking through those cemeteries, I asked myself a question. How was it possible that after such a huge tragedy of the First War, only 25 years later, people, the same people, started another disaster, second war. And as Canadians, we know how grateful we are to all of those that served our country and served in different parts of the world and are serving our country today. And only two weeks, a few weeks ago, we had a terrible uh, uh, events both in Quebec and in Ottawa and our national monument where the members of our Canadian armed forces were tar targeted and killed only because they were wearing Canadian armed forces uniform. So we should always stand together in support of our great men and women that save serve our country and keep us safe. And we should always remember them, not only during the Remembrance Day week, but every day of the year, we will remember them. Let's be forget. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you. Now we will have uh, the Provincial MPP, the Honorable Topeka de Merla. Good morning. We're gathered here today once again to pray a tribute to those who risked their lives, gave up their lives, so we could live ours in freedom. But this year, Remembrance Day has a particular point because Canada saw two men in uniform struck down, Warrant Officer Patrice Vincent and Corporal Nathan Cirillo were killed because they stood for the very values that we as Canadians cherish, freedom, peace, and acceptance. So I want to thank each and every one of you who is here, especially the young ones, for coming out here today to pay tribute because by simply showing up, you are reminding everybody that don't mistake our belief in freedom, our belief in peace, our belief in acceptance to be weakness, because it is not. And by showing up, you're reminding people that just because we as Canadians have a reputation for not picking fights does not mean we will not stand up and fight for our values, because we will. And that is the true meaning of today, I believe. Thank you so much. We'll now have uh, comments from Her Worship, Hazel McCallion. Good morning. Good morning. What a beautiful day for this very special service. You know, the Cooksville Legion, Mr. President, has been so successful over the years, encouraging people to come forward uh, to recognize and to remember the sacrifices made by so many that, uh, and the quality of life that we are enjoying today. Councilor Chris Fonseca has joined me today representing this area. Well, today as we celebrate and recognize the contribution of others, 
providing us with all the freedoms. I think today we should think about what's happened during this past year around the world, in which thousands of people have lost their lives through bombs and uh, every type of war, in fact, in certain parts of the world. And then, as was mentioned, what happened in Ottawa and in Quebec. We must be constantly uh, on guard for what is happening in our community, right in the city of Mississauga, to make sure that we are conscious of those in our midst that may not recognize the contribution made by so many Canadians and are concerned. Maybe unemployment, maybe poverty, maybe trouble in their family, etc. You know, to fulfill our commitment and to fulfill our duty to those who gave their lives for the quality of life that we're enjoying today. I think it is our duty within the community to be sure that we are conscious of the needs of each and every neighborhood in the city of Mississauga. That is how we can show our, our love and recognition and respect for those that gave, made the supreme sacrifice in order for us to have the freedoms we have here. Just remember, it can happen in Canada. We must commit ourselves today and every day we know that it will never happen in this great country of Canada. So today I urge you, it's my last appearance with you as mayor, not my last appearance with the Cooksville Legion. I'll be with you next year as well. Thank you for all the support to the young people cadets that I'm so proud of. I have so many cadet organizations in this saga. And to the veterans, the few that are left, I say thank you for the wonderful journey I've had as your mayor for 36 years. It has been an experience second to none. And so I thank you all. And may God rest with us and encourage us to participate in every aspect of our community so the city of Mississauga can be a symbol for the rest of the world. Almighty God, as you, you have gathered your people together this day in hell of remembrance, we give you thanks for all who laid down their lives for our sake, and whom you have gathered from the storm of war into the peace of your presence. Let the memory of their devotion ever be an example to us, that we at the last be faithful unto death, may receive them from the crown of life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.
We will now have two minutes of silence. They shall grow not old, as we that are left grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun, and in the morning, we will remember them. We will, we will, we will remember them. them. We'll begin uh, laying the wreaths at this present time. Right! Stand up! We'll begin with the Dominion of Canada, the MP, Vladislav Lizon. MPP, Province of Ontario, Topeka de Merlin. Mississauga, the worship page in the county.
Veteran Affairs of Canada, Catherine Romadenko. Canadian Legion District B Commander Tom Astley. <laughs> Royal Canadian Legion Zone B Seven Commander Jack Porter. Royal Canadian Legion, Zone B, 7, LA Commander, Sheila Hicks. Canadian Legion, Branch 582, President Vince Watt. Canadian Legion, Branch 582, Ladies Auxiliary President, Donna Pedler. Legion Branch 82, Port Credit, President Bob Boric. Royal Canadian Legion Branch 139 Street Still President Ola McNutt. Korean veterans, Zone B Sergeant at Arms, Len Maynard. Our fallen veterans, Don Somerville.
our serving forces, Captain Crawley, a veteran of Afghanistan. Comrade Norm Lacoste is laying the wreath. Peel Regional Police Department, Deputy Chief Chris McCord. Mississauga Fire Department, Fire Chief Tim Beckett. Mississauga Firefighters Association, Doug Hickey. Salvation Army, Bram Aberhart Jr. <laughs> Knights of Columbus, Joseph Matthews. Dixie, members of St. John's. <laughs> two eight two four Army Cadet Corps. Seven eight nine, Lieutenant Hampton Gray, BC, Squadron Air Cadets. Eight four five, Avro Arrow, Squadron Air Cadets. Board of Education, Ruth Thompson. Peel Dufferin District Catholic School Board.
Scott's funeral home. Turner and Porter Funeral Home. St. John Ambulance, Kathy Scully. Guys of Canada. Guides Pathfinders. Girl Guide Sparks. Rangers. Second, Mississauga Scouts. Arendale Scouts. First Applewood Scouts Group. <coughs> Your 
First Forest Land Sales Group. Way to go. Vietnamese Association of Canada. Past presidents of the Royal Canadian Legion, Branch 582. Jim Pedler. <coughs> In memory of Corporal Tom Holiday and family vets. memory of George T. Clark. Tom Saberhart. In memory of Isabel Raynor, Carol Phillips. Mr. and Mrs. Tippett, Thomas Averhart. In memory of Mr. and Mrs. Wedge, Roy Wedge and Lil. Doreen Gould McLean. In memory of Laura Boutier and Willie Drinkwater, Wally Drinkwater, pardon me, uh, made a drink water.
retired Colonel Sang. Ladies and gentlemen, we will now have the address made by Father Stephen Mackison. Thank you. Thank you. Mary McCallan, McCallion, MPP de Merla, Councillor Fonseca, MP Lauzon, members of the Legion, members of the armed forces, cadets, members of emergency services, honored guests, and dear friends. On behalf of the people of St. John's Dixie, I welcome you here this day and want to tell you as I do every year what an honor and a privilege it is for us to welcome you to this event where we remember. We, we remember. We remember what was, the sacrifices of those whose names we know and those whose names are left unknown. But we celebrate what is, the freedom and peace that their lives purchased for us at the highest cost imaginable. And we mourn for what will never be, because each of the names that are spoken aloud or in the silence of our hearts this day are the names of someone whose lives were lost before their time. But we also pray with hope for what shall be. We pray that the sacrifices of those who gave everything might further freedom and peace in the world and in our lives. This is how we celebrate Remembrance Day in all the tenses of our lives. We celebrate what was, what is, and what shall be. And we gather around the Cenotaph a word that means empty too, to offer the emptiness of a world that is still torn apart by war and violence, but with confidence that we may be filled with faith, with hope, and with love. Because despite all of our differences, all of the world's religions represented here this day, all who have faith, agree on this, that out of death, new life always comes. Yes, right now, the cenotaph is barren. The tomb is empty. But in the silence that will follow, what we celebrate is not life ending, but new life beginning. What silences us on this Remembrance Day is not just sorrow for lives that were lost, but awe and wonder for the new life that their lives have given us. Amen. Amen. As we take a brief moment of silence, let us prepare our hearts to pray for those we love but see no more. Gracious God, your only Son tells us that there is no greater love than this, 
to lay down one's life for one's friends. We pray for all those in times of war and peace who have been willing to lay down their lives for us, especially this day, remembering Corporal Nathan Cirillo and Warrant Officer Patris, uh, Patrice Vincent. We pray for all soldiers who serve to preserve the freedoms that God has granted us. We pray for families who have made great sacrifices to make it possible for service members to be on walk. We pray for those who grieve the death of a loved one who came in harm's way never to return. We pray for the veterans of past wars who bear scars in their bodies and spirits. We pray for those who work for us, our soldiers, our politicians, our educators and advocates, and every ordinary person gathered in our midst this day who shows kindness and care to both neighbor and stranger. We pray to you, God, for those we love but see no one, who gave their lives that we may live in freedom and peace. We rest eternal grant unto them, O Lord, and let light perpetual shine upon them. May they rest in peace and rise in glory. And now together we pray, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory. A reading from the book of Deuteronomy. Be careful and watch yourselves closely so that you do not forget the things your eyes have seen or let them fade from your heart as long as you live. Teach them to your children and to your children's children forever. <coughs> have the benediction from Branch 582 Padre, Grant a part to you. Grace be unto you and peace from God our Father and our Lord Jesus Christ. The souls of the righteousness are in the hands of God. Their bodies are buried in peace, but their name liveth forever. At the eleventh hour, of the eleventh day of the eleventh month. Time stands still for a moment, and we remember those who died, not for war, but for a world they would have free and at peace. Almighty God, are you our refuge and strength? We humble ourselves in the presence and remembering the great things you have done for us. We lift up your hearts in adoration and praise as you have gathered us together this day we give you thanks for all who served their country in time of trial. In remembrance of those who have made the supreme sacrifice, make us better men and women, and give us peace in our Lord. In time, O oh Lord. Amen. We will now have the playing of God Save the Queen. Right!
Cow in remembrance. Same way. Lắc liền về giống nhau à? I don't want to get in your picture. It's okay. mình không có cờ nhỏ trên trên nó hay hơn ha để nó cờ nhỏ xíu á cắm ở trên á hết rồi cờ nhỏ mình hết rồi có cái cái lỗ để cái cờ cái đó hay cái sao Sorry, sorry.
trong kẻ nhũ nhục bao nước thiên nga việt nam ơi thời gian quá nửa đời người Trong kẻ như nhạc Quá nhạc em Quá nhạc em Quá nhạc em